If it's cold and rainy where you are, don't you worry, get cozy, get comfortable and join us on NBS TV, your number one TV station. A very good morning and welcome to the breakfast meeting. Kitui Flo is my name. Now, malaria mm -hmm. is one of those things that we worry about, especially in a time like this where the rains are coming and, and you know you have a lot of stagnant water. We all remember our uh, primary school science where when these uh, mosquitoes lay eggs and then the female Anopheles will bite you and you will get malaria. So times like these where the rains are upon us are very high risk for people acquiring malaria. And these days, malaria is very bad. I, growing up, I never used to see people die from malaria, but now they actually do because I don't know if it's because we're taking things for granted or if our bodies have grown resistant to the medicines, but there's so many issues around malaria that we need to understand how to deal with and how to tackle. And that is going to be the basis for the conversation we're having this morning. Joining me on the show this morning to talk about how Rotary is doing something in the malaria space to ensure that you and I both have life. Joining me for this conversation is Alex Waita, Agri Waita, I apologize. Yeah. Agri Waita happens to be the PR for the Family Carnival. Yes. Hello, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Q. Uh, and uh, good morning to our viewers. My name is Waita Agri and I'm here to talk, to bring you interesting stories and, and about the Family Carnival happening this 10th of December at the, rugby, at the Regions Rugby Ground. Mm. Uh, gates will be open at, uh, at 10 a.m. Yeah, and we're definitely going to get into the details of what's Ex going to happen at the carnival and exactly. when and how excited we are about it. But let's start with something very critical that you're doing yeah. as the family carnival. Yes. The family carnival is coming together to fight malaria. What are you doing in the space of malaria and why is it so important to the, the yeah. family carnival? Yeah, as we own, malaria, malaria is still a big challenge in uh, Uganda. And, uh, and according to last year's report, it shows about 13 cases of malaria and uh, almost 20,000 people lost their lives uh, to malaria. 20,000? Exactly. That's a huge number. Exactly. And uh, we don't want to leave it to the government. We just, it's, uh, so the carnival was launched last year as a collective effort with, uh, with Malaria Free Uganda mm. and uh, Rotary to, to bring the collaborative effort, but also to bring it to the public, to bring their awareness, awareness and yeah. also a sense of responsibility to the public because when you're part of the cause it stopped to be about others because it never it, when malaria is attacking it doesn't exclude anyone absolutely we are all in the same case so we are we want to bring the public into this so that we all take part as stakeholders and on the other side as a as a youth we want U uganda being uh, having youth as the biggest stakeholders we want also them to involve so that we are we having initiatives both uh, using all, every platform to make sure that we create awareness about the, the carnival, but also a, 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 a awareness about the cause that we are bringing, which is combating malaria yeah. in Uganda. Because and and I, love, I love the cause that you're doing. Exactly. Um, but usually we're used to this kind of conversation being in form of a, a lecture or a symposium and things like that. And this time we're doing it a little differently and doing it in the form of a carnival. What was the Ex purpose of doing it in this style? Exactly, and uh, the cause is uh, we have had these initiatives, these uh, fundraisers, where we have had uh, people put up fundraisers in public uh, gatherings, but we, we, this time we want to bring, uh, to bring fun with it. Imagine the experience of you solving a problem and at, and at the same time having fun relating and networking with different people from these different uh, fields. Mm. Because the, this carnival is, is not just, we, bring, we are bringing people from the Rotary, you, you know Rotary, so we are bringing different to Gandhi to come and uh, have fun with the general public, but also the general public, to, to meet some of the people they have been uh, seeing on platforms, but they have not be, got a chance to be in the same space with them. So we want to solve a, co a problem, but at the same time having fun about it. Like, bring people together mm. yeah exactly so that now when they come for the carnival and for such a fun day Ex they get the information exactly it, they are going to get education because it's an opportunity for us to educate the public about the the impact of malaria and also let them know about the mitigate mitigation initiatives that are being taken to combat malaria well, mm. as our vision says we are, we are aiming for malaria free uganda by 2030 Absolutely. And it does not come, uh, it comes with massive awareness to the public and also the public getting involved. 
Okay. Yes. So apart from just the family carnival, what other engagements are we expecting at the event? I've okay. heard you talk about, for example, fundraiser. Tell yes. us about the fundraiser. Of course, all the proceeds that we are collecting, even the 50,000 you're going to pay, it is aiming at uh, boosting up the uh, resource mobilization that, uh, of course, combating malaria is not a... Uh, it does not come at a, as a cost. We need resources, and it starts with, that's why we are bringing this fundraiser in form of a carnival mm. to help us add on the already existing resources that uh, the partners have put together to make sure that this happens. So the, the money we are paying on, for the carnival is going mm. to, the, to in, in the resource mobilization of the or, or in the fight against malaria. Okay, that's like, interesting. So where are we going for the family approach? Because if it's a fundraiser, we would yeah. assume even the adults alone can give you the kind of money that we need, the resources. Why are we doing a fund, uh, it for entire family? Exactly, it's an entire family. We, this is an opportunity for families to bond. Uh, as you've had, it's a kind of experience. Mm. That's, that's what we are not only coming to listen to about malaria, but it's a time to come and have fun with family. Bring, it's like, let's take it as a family day out. So it, that is non-exclusive, all ages can attend, and, mm. and that's why we, we are making it for the whole family. Because any, it, malaria affects from the youngest to the oldest. Or to the oldest. Mm. So we want them to come and have an experience, and the young one, see, this is an, an annual inve event, mm. so it happens every year. And we want it, the generation to grow with it, because the, the efforts are not stopping now. Okay, exactly. so being a family carnival and the fact that you have it positioned at the right timing when exactly. students are going home for the holidays, yes. are we encouraging and welcoming students and children and all, uh, all of them to be at the carnival? Exactly, and uh, I want to use this platform to invite all people out there, the holiday makers, tell your, tell your mom, tell your dad to bring you to the family carnival and you live an experience. It's a fun, a fun field event a lot of artists and uh, a lot of games for all ages. Okay. So bring your family, bring your holiday makers to the carnival happening at Legends Rugby, Rugby Ground on the 10th of December and we shall be happy to receive you and give you the exclusive, ex exclusive experience of the carnival mm. in Uganda, but not just the carnival, but also impacting the uh, overall goal of combating malaria. Okay, so exactly. tell us some of the things that we should be excited to see at the carnival. Of course, we have a big lineup of artists coming through. The, I think uh, Azawi will be coming through. Nice. Cindy, the king herself, will be there. We have uh, a Weka band who will be representing. So it's a lineup, and we have a, f a lot of ga games for kids mm. and a lot of gifts to take away. Okay. The yeah, way you said Cindy, uh, the king herself, go like we call it Team <laughs> Nokia. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay, so tell us about when the carnival is going to be where yeah all the important details so right uh we want to embrace the digital era so we this time we said we want to sell tickets online so you can grab your ticket on quicket when you got quicket you'll be able to get your ticket it's only at fifty thousand shillings and uh it's happening uh, at legends rugby ground on the 10th of december and uh yeah gates will be open at 10 10 a.m till late and uh, we promise the best experience mm. come and we have fun but as we solve a big problem of malaria that has really crippled our people and st strained our economy because okay. people are spending a lot on treatment of malaria every day and we say it's a, f a solvable problem if we join the efforts together Okay. Who yeah. are some of the partners that you are uh, with on this program? Yes, the, uh, we have uh, our major partners, uh, that's uh, Ro the Rotary and uh, Malaria Free Uganda and also uh, the Ministry of Health. We partner with them, uh, Echo Bank. These are some of the key stakeholders. And then, yes, thank Of course. Exactly. Ah, very proudly <laughs> associated, very proudly associated. Exactly. Again, like you said, it's going to be happening on the 10th of December. Yes. Where? At... Legends Rugby Ground. And Legends Rugby Ground, starting at what time? It's starting at 10 a.m. Starting at 10 a.m., running through the entire day? Exactly. Ah, closing at, uh, sorry, of course, for the entire day. Exactly. And, ah, uh, at how much? At, at 50,000, sorry, 50,000 shillings, and uh, tickets are being sold online. Uh, for Rotarians and Rotaractors, you can also access 
tickets in your clubs or fellowships. Uh, we have representatives in those. We have malaria ambassadors in those in those clubs, mm. and uh, we they will be able, having some physical tickets. But we want to major drive their digital sales. So how do I get a ticket online? So you go to Quicket. Uh, when you visit our social media platforms, Malaria Free Uganda, you'll be able to see. Uh, links or where you can be able to access. When you tap that link, it will take you to, where, to a place where and, uh, you can insert in the number of tickets you want to purchase mm. for your whole family, and then you, it, they will prompt uh, your mm. mobile money to... As long as you go to the, that link exactly. on your website, Malaria exactly. Free Uganda, yes. it takes you straight to where you're going to be able to purchase the ticket, e exactly. and then you just follow the prompts. Sure. That sounds easy enough. Yeah. Now. Something that you touched on very lightly, yes. but then we skimmed over it quickly, yes. which I think is very critical. Yes. You talked about the tickets and the fact that those tickets are going to a bigger cause. Yes. Tell us a bit more about that. Yes, so uh, as I told you, malaria is a big challenge. It still remains a big challenge in Uganda and also yes. the, to the rest of Africa. And uh, the tickets, and there are a lot of resources needed for us to, to be able to achieve this goal of uh, malaria-free Uganda mm. by 2030. So why we are we are putting this as this is a fundraiser we are raising money to make to make sure that we we support the efforts that are being that are already being implemented by stakeholders like minister of health so that we add on the same efforts to make sure that we have enough resources to really bring all the interventions we are trying to put to end this malaria in uganda okay. Definitely interesting. A final message for anyone who is at home and wondering, is this event for me? Yeah, a final message to our viewers is uh, come and have a, an experience of a carnival because it's ex exclusively organized to cater for our fun and also give us an experience that we shall remember. Remember, it's an, it's an event and we hope to every year bring you something that you've not seen. So we promise the best experience. So everyone go to on our website and you, you'll be able to get your tickets. And come 10th, come and we have fun together and as we also solve a problem that is affecting us all as Ugandans. Absolutely. So on the 10th of December, we're all going to be heading to Legends Rugby Grounds for the carnival. The, for, yeah, for the, the family, family carnival. carnival. Yes, towards a great cause of ending malaria here in Uganda. Thank you so much, Agre Bwaita, who is the PR for the Family Carnival. Thank you for joining us this morning. You're welcome. Now you know what to start your festivities and your December with. This is definitely an important cause and uh, you're able to give back while doing so. But while you plan for the malaria carnival, the family carnival, it's important that you put aside your kamane for UB40 uh, featuring Ali Campbell. It's going to be happening on the 21st of December. So we start with the family carnival and then we go <laughs> into UB40 where you can, with whatever ticket you buy, be able to contribute to planting trees. So you're doing a lot of noble causes this December. It's not just Kusimbula, it's Kusimbula with a cause. This is The Breakfast Meeting. We'll be right back.